Oh, hello, you gorgeous lot. Welcome back to another incredible day here on Crafters TV. I hope your Saturday is going swimmingly. Uh, we've got a fantastic weekend uh, of shows planned for you. And we're going to kick it off right here, right now, with, of course, Play Your, car play your Cards Right? No, Play Your Crafts Right. Uh, and today, because it is 4th of July tomorrow, we've got a very special themed game where myself and my esteemed craft expert, the one and only Debbie Fisher, will be pitting ourselves against each other, won't we, Debbie? How are you? Hey, Joe. How are you? Happy Saturday, everybody. I can't wait. I love the uh, Play Your Crafts, right? Uh, we're going to get uh, be starting off straight away with some gorgeous samples of what we've got coming up. Oh, uh, yes, we've please. We've only got a couple of dies here left, and they are amazing, amazing value, so you need to get in there quick. But these beautiful creator cards uh, are going to be winging in their way to you if you choose to order these they are amazing we've then got the gorgeous gorgeous jigsaw now Beautiful. we know you love your jigsaw dies and we've still got these which are amazing uh, so just a couple there for your inspiration at the beginning that lovely gorgeous balloon design and we've also got edibles coming up as well joe so these gorgeous you know how i love an edible um and these ones are absolutely beautiful and if you like butterflies or schmetterlings then you've got that gorgeous uh, butterfly edible and we're going to be doing a demo on this one so yes stay tuned We've got a jam-packed hour and a half, haven't we? We have indeed, and we'll be getting competitive. Uh, Debbie will be playing for Team YouTube. I'll be playing for Team Facebook. That is correct, isn't it? Uh, yes, yeah, so that's going to be fun. That'll be coming up at about 20 past. We've got two games, uh, two rounds, uh, sorry, I should say, of a really awesome US-themed uh, sort of name that item, let's call it. That's going to be incredible. Uh, lots of stuff in the winner's circle, as Debbie just uh, touched surface off there. I would say to you, get over to the website, craftscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. Have a look at all the deals that are in the show. There are absolutely loads of them. Something else that you'll see when you're over on the website placing your order is that we have a very special promotion for you. It runs up until the end of tomorrow. You will save five when you spend 30. You can use that in conjunction with your Club Inspire discount as well. So spend 30 pounds, dollars or euros uh, after your discount off you will then save a five of five pounds euros or dollars uh, also while you're over there and you can use these in conjunction uh, you've got triple points on everything totally tiffany and that runs up until the end of sunday as well wherever you are so i mean loads of awesome deals for you you can get in touch with me in all the usual ways crafters tv across on facebook crafts companion if you're watching us on youtube make sure you hit subscribe if you are watching us on youtube we're going to get right in though i'm going to kick off with the awesome jigsaw dies now these are amazing because yes they make something that is decorative and beautiful but they are also completely functional as well so if you want to stick them down you can or maybe you could do two put one on the card and then maybe gift the other one as an actual jigsaw separately or a puzzle as you guys call them stateside so you've got the star you've also got the speech bubble in here the balloon which is just going to be so awesome for all of those birthday celebrations <gasps> maybe Maybe someone out there is your missing piece, Debbie. Uh, then you've got the actual puzzle piece as well in there, which is fantastic. Uh, the heart in here as well for all you love birds. And, I mean, it wouldn't be a collection, would it, without some schmetterlings? Uh, so they're coming in there. You're also going to receive as well the sentiment stamps that go with them. They've got things in there like, uh, you complete, complete me. Uh, why fit in when you were born to stand out? Can I get an amen up in here? Uh, 49.60 or 57.60 if you are a platinum member. Um, but I love these, Debbie. I know our customers have absolutely loved them. They've been so popular, mm -hmm. haven't they? What is it about these, you think, that people have gone absolutely bonkers for? I think, first of all, is that they're a puzzle, a jigsaw. And the secondly is how amazing the shapes are. I've never seen dies like this before, Joe, where you get mm. those jigsaw shapes in all different shapes. Uh, and you can use them as puzzles, so they work just as well as puzzles for gifts. Uh, but I love the fact that you can put all these beautiful sentiments uh, along with that design on the front of your cards, in boxes, lots of different designs, which are amazing. So are we going to start? Yeah, now? let's crack so, on. So let's have a look at the heart jigsaw now i didn't have time because i've had such a busy week to get some demos done so sarah told me she left her demo here uh, so i'm oh, gonna i'm gonna picture. pinch that one what a beautiful pick is this of simon and her boys um so it's okay i have the authority of the missus herself uh, hmm. and what i'm gonna do now what i've done we now there's not much of this left in oh, stock, joe i mean like uh, if yeah. you want it you've got to get it in your basket and check it out 
Yeah. Uh, we'll put the details on your screen for the mount board. So I am just going to bring the mount board in. You will get a pack uh, of A5 uh, card. It is amazing. Honestly, there's not much left, so please grab it while you it's can. It's 10 sheets of the A4 one we have. Oh, but sorry. I, I that's all right. It the other uh, but it is going to go very, very quickly. 20 sheets if you cut it down to A5. You can see uh, you can get two of them for £23 or $29 uh, if you want to get that. I think that's incorrect, actually. Individually, £9.99 or £14.99. We'll get those details changed for you. Right, so what I'm going to do, just need to pick your photo of where you want your die and then make sure I'm going to just bring it up to the top there so I know I'm not going to cut off Simon's head. We've got the boys in there and then we're going to run that through our Gemini. So super easy. Uh, what they are, they are a thicker die. So they're like a mixed media die, which means they will cut through your mount board, they will cut through your cork, they will cut through um, thicker pieces of material. Could you do magnetic sheets with Mag them? Magnetic sheets, absolutely. So if you want to create... Like fridge puzzles, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yes, absolutely, yes. Yeah. So the personalised puzzles, fridge magnets, uh, are going to be uh, amazing. So let's take that off. You can see that's cut out, no problem whatsoever. Now, what I am going to do is try and just ease this out gently. Uh, and Kit, it's not going to stay intact, but I've already got one intact, so that's fine. As we all know, Sarah is well prepped with her uh, preparations. So I'm just going to bring these out and I'm doing this a really awkward way because you do have holes inside that you right. can uh, take them out with but I don't know why I decided to do them awkwardly um, so let's pop those back on so you can see all of those pieces have cut out no problem whatsoever what I love about these um, dies Joe is how well they've been designed they're designed so your edges are almost sort of beveled around nice. so it creates that perfect puzzle piece which so it feels I like love. a professional manufactured puzzle uh, doesn't it absolutely yeah you've got absolute profession in that so you are going to look like amazing so what I've got now is I've got myself a little card blank uh, and it's a five by five card blank now what I've done with this is I've measured halfway down at two and a half inches and then I've measured two and a half inches in and I've cut that point to there which means it gives us an alternative point for our easel card so that okay. just gives us this piece now the next thing I've done is I've got myself another piece of card exactly the same, so five by five, but I wanted to get the shape of the jigsaw in that. So what I then did was just created a little heart. When I cut my heart out for the base, um, I created, all I did was went round just with my um, uh, craft knife. Okay. And it means then it gives me a stencil, which I then just went to that point with, cut around that, and that gives me that heart piece at the front and it means Joe I can then pop that onto there and it gives me a really unusual style of card which will act as our easel so all I need to do is a fixed tape to this piece so I'm going to grab my red liner not red liner tape sorry my tape pen and I'm just going to put that glue where it's needed on that edge and then what I'm going to do is put this piece of piece that I've got uh, sorry onto here so this one, there we go. Excuse me if I'm getting, isn't it funny when you use someone else's prep to um, make sure you're doing it right. And then I'm going to use this stencil piece. We've just cut that same piece of card uh, and we've got that piece in the middle to place our die back into. I love this easel card style, Debbie. It's Not something lovely, we see a lot it? of. No, I can't take credit for it. Like I say, it's more of, um, of Sarah's. But as soon as I see it, I thought, what an unusual shape. I've never done an easel with that um, point like that. Uh, what I've... a great way as well. I know I talk about this a lot, but what a great way of uh, using pictures. Because we're so great at taking them, aren't we, Debbie? Uh -huh. uh, but so bad at actually doing anything with them. It's That's because... what we seem to do these days. Yeah, because They just sit on our phone forever, app. don't they? Absolutely, or goes on social media. Absolutely, yeah. Joe. I couldn't agree more. But then what happens is they all sit on your phone. They're all these lovely pictures, and then your phone fills up, and then you end up deleting a load of them, and you've done nothing with them. They're gone. Yep, so totally. you know, actually making keepsakes out of them, projects. I think it really is the way forward. Absolutely. So, Joe, if you was to cut this out uh, of here, not only will you get your paper pieces, cut that out again out of your yellow and your blue, and then if I bring this one in, you can then paper piece them nice. back inside. So you've got all those different pieces and that's going to act as our base. So let's pop this one in. 
and then I've got some other little bits as well. So the extra bits that have popped out, because obviously I've got three different uh, jigsaw there with different colours. I'm going to uh, mount them, but a bit higher. So let me just bring in my little pieces here. Julie's asking how thick is the back board? I think she means the board that you've mounted that onto. I would say it's about one mil in thickness would you debbie the mount board um yes i don't think it's yeah uh let me uh, i haven't got a piece joe yes it's no more about, about a mil one yes, mil isn't one it mil. yeah definitely one mil yes uh, and same with magnets if you wanted to go for your magnets just make sure that you do them um uh get the lowest one that you can get so the millimeter. thinnest one you can find yes. yeah yeah they will cut through your thicker ones but what you don't want it to do is um it will start to um, dig into your photograph. So the thinner right. your magnets, the better. And whatever we're fixing the photo, whatever we're doing the photos onto, do we do we uh, adhere the photo to the uh, the base first and then cut it, Debbie? Uh, you would put it onto the white side. So the white side of your magnet it would yes. go onto, and you'd stick that on. How would you stick that down? Uh, I would I would say your red liner tape or okay. your tape pens. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't use a wet glue. No. Um, because what it might do is just tighten the photograph around oh, it okay, yeah. when it dries. So I would. So definitely... lots and lots of uh, of some sort of tape. So and yes. then off you go. Absolutely. Oh, that's exciting. I can imagine uh, younger ones, you know, just having playing at the fridge door for ages, putting them together, taking them back apart again, uh, or mounting them onto something. Oh, what could you put them onto? Hmm. I don't know. Lots of different things, wouldn't you be able to... Uh, you know what they'd be good for as well, is your scrapbooking. Yeah. Really good for scrapbooking. Mm, absolutely. Uh, someone talks about, as well, I don't know how long ago it was, someone said about using something repositionable, like a repositionable adhesive, so you could actually take them off or... Um, uh, or um, like Velcro dots was another thing, you know, sticking them on with that oh, and then you could take them idea. off and then put them yes. back on again. There's so many different things you can do with them. And also I think they're so unusual. That's why people have absolutely loved them. Yeah, uh, absolutely. You guys have adored these. So what I'm doing here, Joe, is we are just, I've took a few of the pieces out from the bottom and we're just going to put these as well onto some foam pads and it will just give a different illusion there as if you've took those pieces away. So I'm just making sure we put the right pieces where they've come out of. So that's the middle section. So we'll have that just there. And then we're bottom one. Yeah, it's lovely, this shape card, isn't it, Jane? Yeah, really nice. Leela says it's a unique easel card. The collar combo and the creativity is gorgeous. Uh, loads of people tuning in from all over today. Georgie Ann is in Clearwater, Florida. Diane's in the West Midlands. Leela's saying hi, everyone from New York. I haven't been able to join and chat for a while, so glad to watch, laugh, learn, and have some fun. Well, it's lovely to have you with us, Leela. Antoinette's in South Africa. Hi, uh, Antoinette. Uh, Rihanna is in Ballarat, Australia. Hello, we're very international today. Uh, Julie's uh, saying good morning from a sleepless in California. Oh, Judy, that's not good. Uh, I know a lot of the people uh, in um, the, the uh, northwest of the US and also in parts of Canada having a lot of extreme heat at the moment, aren't they, Debbie? So I hope everyone is uh, keeping cool and safe. So we're sending our thoughts to you. Uh, Rhonda's in from Texas. Alicia is here from Arkansas. I always think it should be called Arkansas for some reason. I don't know <laughs> what. Arcan Arkansas. Arkansas. Yeah, I love it. Uh, and Laura is in from uh, Virginia as well. Uh, Susan, looking to all the fun, looking forward to the fun today. Uh, Julie, first time watching Play Your Crafts, right? Hello, Julie. Uh, welcome. Yeah, um, who else we got here? Alicia's got these already, so she's really pleased with doing this. Uh, Michelle says, "I'm going to buy these. I hope I can do this. I've stayed away until today. I think everyone can do this, Debbie. Don't you? Has there been a craft along on these?" Off the top of my head, I can't remember. I don't think we have, Joe. No, no I don't think not there has. at all. There will have been a launch day, though, so you'll be able to go back to that show. You'll be able to find that and get two hours of inspiration. Uh, and remember, you'll be able to watch this uh, show back at any time you want over on our website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. Uh, go to the t Crafters TV area, and every show we've ever done is there for you to watch back, which I think is awesome. 
And there we go. So if I bring this one in there, Joe, um, that's that one. I need to pass this on now. It's been made back to Sarah. But if I finish my, uh, this, bring this one in, all that we've done or Sarah's done there is added dad onto the bottom there. But how gorgeous is that shape card? I think I'll definitely be doing that one again. Absolutely. Uh, now, the best way to get the best value, of course, is to go for the whole collection. Details are there on your screen. If you do want to pick and choose, though, don't worry, we've got you covered because they are all available individually. Any two of these as well for £23 or $29. Remember when you're spending £30 dollars or euros, you're going to save an extra £5 uh, dollars or euros as well. So make sure you take, uh, take that in mind. Uh, let me go through the individuals for you and I'll give you the individual details for them as well as we do so. £12.99 or £14.95 individually. So you've got the heart there. You also have the star. You're a star, Debbie. Uh, you've got the balloon there for all of those celebrations. Uh, we've also got a speech bubble. This could be hilarious. I'm thinking, you know, you could print out uh, whatever you wanted, uh, you know, sentence-wise, pop into there. Uh, you've got the butterfly, which is always so incredibly popular. Uh, that traditional uh, puzzle piece or jigsaw piece. That one's called missing piece, if you want to go for that one. Now, uh, maybe you want to do more conventional shapes when it comes to your um, puzzles or jigsaws. We've got you covered there as well, because we do actually have this available on the show for you. It is the 5 by 7 uh, puzzle or jigsaw or die. The great thing about this is it will go through your Gemini Junior uh, and it means that maybe those more conventional shaped photos that you want to create and turn into jigsaws or puzzles, absolutely you're going to be able to do that. $29.99 or $39.95. It does say any two for 23 or 29 there. We seem to be, uh, we seem to be having that on everything today. So just ignore that going forward. I'll let you know uh, when that is the case. Uh, right, we also have the mount board available for you. Uh, it is the final call though on this. It's going to go. It's just a case of when. You do get an assortment of colours in here as well, which is fantastic. Got some browns, uh, the black in there, the white. Uh, you've got the grey in there for you too. Uh, I mean, you're going to cover this anyway, so uh, the um, the colour is really irrelevant. Seven ninety nine or eleven ninety nine, if you want to go for that one. Would you just use one sheet of that, Debbie? Uh, no, you could use really frugal with that, Joe. Okay. And also, even though it's coloured, every backing of that is white, so you can use it if you just want white mount board. Then you can use it on there. But honestly, Joe, use every single bit of that because that's a great A4 sheet. Uh, Rosalind says, uh, Alicia says, yes, Arkansas. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, I, I'm going to coin it. Uh, there you go. Uh, Rosalind says, Joe, we finally have a couple of days of relief from the heat in Maryland. Uh, we're back in the 90s on Monday. I'm glad it is cooling down for you. Uh, Stephen said, I've sent my, jigs I've, uh, my jigsaw set. I might use my pro to do them all at the same time. Oh, that's a great idea. Now, something else that's going to be coming up after Winner's Circle, after Playcraft Site even, is of course Winner's Circle. Let me share with you, Winner's Circle is where we basically reward all of you with some incredible, incredible deals. Uh, $12.99 or $14.99 gets you all of these gorgeous uh, cut and emboss folders. So you can see there, great saving for you of £26 or $30 platinum members. You're looking at £10 or $11 and change, which is an awesome price for you. We do have some of the gorgeous lace edgeables available on the show too. These are always so popular. Two of your favourites here in the Venetian Scrolls and the Butterflies. Uh, you, well, it's a half price deal. Uh, of course, Club Inspire Platinum members get these for even lower. Uh, the stitched nesting dies. Now you've got uh, a conventional shape, you've got a fancy shape and you've got an inverted one in here as well. They are limited stock though, so if they are in your basket you're thinking about getting them, I would urge you to get them in and get checked out. Very low stocks on that one. We also have some nitwits for you. It's the topper pad collection with a tape pen as well. 58 sheets in there, uh, $16.99 or $19.95. Everyone is saving more than they're spending on that, which is fantastic. Do you want some Rose Garden in your life? Well, you are in luck, my friends, because, uh, again, a great deal for you. Less than half price here. Uh, you've got nine elements in there. So you've got a creator card. You've got uh, well, kind of two creator cards. One of them's got that removable edge. And you've got some sentiments in there for you as well. Well, uh, well, it is Play Your Crafts Right, and it wouldn't be Play Your Crafts Right without a fabulous game. And seeing as it is uh, July 4th tomorrow, we have got a very special game that's been arranged. Myself and Debbie are basically going to be trying to... 
We're going to be trying to guess the American word or the English word for these products. The American word for regular items, Debbie. There are five items in each round. There are two rounds. We'll play one round now, another round in about 20 minutes. If it is a tie over across the two rounds, so whoever gets the most out of 10 across the two rounds will be the winner. If it's a tie, there will be a tie break question. How does that sound, Debbie? YouTube, Do you understand? YouTube, 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 YouTube Debbie YouTube. will be <laughs> Debbie will be playing for YouTube. I will be playing for uh, Facebook. Whoever's team wins, a uh, five winners will be selected at random from either team, team YouTube, team Facebook, and they will receive a ten pound or dollar spend each. I think. Do you get it, Debbie? Are, are you on board? Are you all right? I'm feeling quite confident. How are you feeling I about it, Debbie? I know you are. Yeah, Joe's very good with his words, so he's gonna get all these. So yeah, I'm not feeling so confident. So, uh, but we will see, won't we, Joe? We yeah. will see, indeed. Right. I guess it's time uh, to uh, to play our crafts. Right. So in the UK, it's called a vest. In the US, it's probably called. Oh, I haven't got any tissue, Debbie. Oh, I found some. Oh, OK. Uh, have you got an answer, Debbie? Yes. I'm going to go with tank top. We both went with tank top. Do you know what's really strange? I actually knew what that was. Did you? Uh, because last week, our Erin was in, and she was saying she couldn't get her head around why we call a vest a vest. Um, right. And she was telling us that they call it a tank top. There if you she are. hadn't said that, I wouldn't have known that. So. One a piece. <laughs> who do we think then? Who do we think's got this in the comments? Do let me know. Play along. Who do you think's going to win? Who's your money on? Uh, I'm just hearing there's a lot of people moving from YouTube to Facebook as we speak, Debbie. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, right. Uh, lots of people guessing tank top there in the comments. Let's have our second item. Ah. Oh. Debbie's very confident. Are you confident, Debbie? Uh, I think so. Okay, let's go. Sweater weather. Sweater. Sweater weather. Have it's you seen? The only thing I could think of it could be. <laughs> Have you seen? Um, there's a video online of a woman from like New Jersey, and she's like, "Oh, it's uh, sweater weather." Sweater, it's sweater weather. weather. So I always call it now when it starts to get a little bit warm. But it's uh, sweater weather. Uh, let's have a look at the answer. It is sweater. Yay. Two each. Debbie, Woo. you're doing better than you thought you were going I to at this point. I am doing better than I thought I would, yeah. Yeah, I'm very, very impressed. I just love Erin right now. Uh, <laughs> Lorda Jane says, good luck. Uh, YouTube today. Nina says, you got this, Joe. Roslyn says, come on, Joe. Facebook needs a win. Uh, and Gilmore says, Debbie, we'll be beating you, Joe. I am sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh thank you very much. <laughs> Bit of trash talk there. I'll do my best. Uh, right, should we have our third item, Debbie? Oh, yes, please. Oh, I don't know. Oh. But do they see this is this is this is an odd one because I didn't think they had these in the US. I thought in the US they were like pelican crossings where you have a light. I don't remember in the US seeing any ones where you could just walk. But I thought you had to wait for a light in order to cross. So you I feel you like said that I was gonna put Pelican Cross in. But now I'm thinking it can't be Pelican Crossing. Um. Gosh, this is almost illegible, my writing. Maybe if I just squiggle and then you won't know if I get it right or not. <laughs> this is definitely yeah. not right, but I thought it's better than nothing. Okay, well, um, let's see what you put, Debbie, first. I put sidewalk. <laughs> mm, no, so sidewalk is the pavement, Debbie. I know Debbie. what the sidewalk is. I've but... put crosswalk. Oh. You can't have it if it's not the right Crosswalk. Words. Is it? Should we reveal the answer? Uh, Yay! Well yeah, but Joe's wrote it in two separate words. So, so, so um, I, I think Stuart's inquiry there because I believe that in the let me know in the comments. I believe the crosswalks in the US you have to like stand and wait for the light to change, then you can walk. Whereas a zebra crossing, the pedestrians have right of way. Yeah. It's technically not the same thing. Yeah, that's very mm. true. Yeah, I wouldn't uh, have known that. Let me know in the comments if I am correct or not. Sorry, right. YouTube. Three, two then to uh, Team Facebook. I think we're feeling confident. Shall we have that fourth picture? Oh, I know I know it, but my mind's gone blank. Um, oh, what is it called? Oh, I know. 
Oh, Debbie's, Debbie's, uh, Debbie's very confident there. Uh, do you know what they're called in? Do you want to know what they're called in Italian? Uh, melanzana. Melanzana. <laughs> melanzana. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want to know what ginger is? I think this is my, my favourite Italian word. Zenzero. 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 Ginger. Zenzero. Yeah, anyway, back to aubergines. Eggplant. Loads of you guessing eggplant in the comment. Julie, Karen, uh, Winnabeth, uh, all saying eggplant. So is it, uh, let's have a look then, George. What is the answer? Eggplant. It is aubergines are eggplant. Ah. Eggplant oh, uh, in the US. So four, three. Uh, four, Joe's three. not going to get wrong. Let's have a look what the fifth and final one of this round is. Oh. Oh, I can't. I can't draw. Um, see, I don't think. Would we? Yeah, I guess we would. I, I'm, I'm confident on this one. Me so, too. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm confident. I'll go first. I've said kindergarten. I've said kindergarten. Oh. And it is. Nursery. What is it then? Daycare, of course. Daddy daycare. I think it is kindergarten. Yeah. I mean, I think that's open to. Um, I think that's open to a bit of interpretation. I'm not going to say that you know it's incorrect. Uh, but anyway, four, I, I think that's incorrect. Yeah. Four three uh, at the end of that round. Then, so still all to play for, Debbie. Well, I, I'm uh, happy with that, Joe. Are you happy with yeah, three? Yeah, I'm happy with three. Yeah. Uh, so, still all to play for uh, in the second round. So, we'll be playing that second round uh, a little later. Uh, if some... Uh, oh, so Co Mary Lee says, in Colorado, uh, in Colorado, if someone is in a crosswalk, you must stop your car for them. Okay. Uh, and Debbie says, no, we can cross without a light. So, it is the same as a zebra crossing. I take it back. I take it back. All right. Occasionally, I'm wrong. Uh, right, we're going to take a quick break. Whilst we do that, here's all the details uh, on how you can watch the shop at the same time. Hi, I'm Sarah from Crafters TV, and I'm here to show you how you can get the best deals and shop while you watch during our shows. The best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. So head over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV Home where you can see all of our shows, plus exclusive offers, and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, you can head on over to our community pages. Come say hello, ask us some questions, and chat along live with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay our shows direct onto your big screen or stream us live through YouTube. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Oh, lots of fun being had there in the comments over on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Facebook just out in the lead at the moment. Uh, so remember, depending on where you're watching, five viewers were picked at random from either Facebook or YouTube to uh, receive a £10 or dollar spend. And we'll do that after the second round before we move, of course, into the winner's circle. We're going to bring you lots of uh, incredible deals. They are all live, of course, right now over on the website. So if you do want to get ahead, pop yourself over to craftscompanion.co.uk.com.au. Hit that shop, the show button. We're going to go back to the jigsaws. Very busy on these, uh, and that I can see why. They are a fantastic collection because they allow you to do something that really is going to be an absolute wow when you give this to people. Uh, so this, of course, is an amazing topper that you can make, but of course it is a functioning jigsaw. So it's up to you. Whether you want to make these to be decorative, whether you want to make them to be functional, you've got all the designs in there. So you've got the star, the speech bubble, the um, balloon is in there, great for those birthday celebrations, the actual puzzle piece itself, the heart that you saw Debbie demonstrate a moment ago, 
and that fantastic butterfly. You do also get the sentiments in here too, which are all uh, specifically designed to go with these jigsaw die. So uh, do make sure you get them. Uh, you can get them as a whole collection. That's the best way to get the best saving. You save over 20 pounds, over 24 dollars. Platinum members, you can get these for less than 50 pounds or 60 dollars, which is awesome value. They are all available individually or on a two for 23 pounds or 29 dollars, which is brilliant. We do, don't forget as well, have the standard uh, five by seven rectangular one available for you as well. So do make sure you grab that. Now, don't forget, uh, we've got lots of shows coming up for you all day today and also all weekend. Uh, one of our faves coming up later it is, of course, the cute character box dies collection. Uh, it is a craft along that we're going to be bringing you on that, which is fantastic. Brilliant value uh, on this, which is awesome too. Make sure you join myself and Debbie for that craft along a little later. Uh, also, you can, of course, pop across to our social media to see everything that you need to complete said craft along as well, which is awesome. Uh, right. Uh, oh, socials are still in very heavy debates about kindergarten, daycare and crosswalks, Debbie. Uh, there's a little bit of, I think there's a steward's inquiry maybe uh, on a couple of those answers. We will see. Uh, right, we're going to go back to Debbie. Uh, which one are you going to take us through next, Debbie? Yeah, we're going to look at the butterfly one. Uh, I actually think it's like anywhere, Joe. It's probably where you come from yeah. in different parts of America um, that would uh, call it a daycare and some would call it a kindergarten. What's your favourite American word, Debbie? Have you got one? Um, I... <laughs> is really weird but i love the word diaper diaper <laughs> i just think that's a brilliant word diaper. Not just, yeah, diaper. mine is fanny pack fanny pack. which is bum bag, <laughs> bum bag which i think yeah. is awesome i just think diaper is such a funny name i love it um right so uh, again as you can see i've got sarah and her family because i've got her prep uh, and we're gonna pop that just over the faces so we get the boys in we just get sarah and simon into there uh, and we're gonna cut this time the actual um uh, butterfly so again a mixed media die I put it on and you can see like doing your smaller photos you would be able to fit four of these onto your A4 cardstock so make sure you use that um, card uh, sorry your mount board um, uh, <laughs> Uh, sparingly because it will go a long way when you think you could get four of the jigsaws oh it doesn't like it um, so actually quite nice with the Gemini if it doesn't like something it brings it back out I think what do you put, think it's, what do you I, I put that? too many platforms in there Joe right. I should have took out my um, is that because it's a slightly thicker die yes yeah because it's slightly thicker I've just took those out and then we should be fine. That will run through and cut no problem whatsoever. Yeah, with a mixed media die, we normally uh, take out one of our shims. So, and then we have our beautiful cut. So if I show you that, you can see it's cut out completely on the back there. And then we're just gonna pop this out. Let's pop my bits to the side. I'm gonna use my pokey tool this time. So if you just go through all these holes, that will release that die beautifully. I mean, these are great fun, aren't they, Joe? It's what I love about it. And I think it's why the jigsaw dies have been hugely popular. Could we, uh, use, these to, could we use these for cutting fabric, Debbie? Um, yeah, I think you probably I guess with could. the fabric stabiliser, I don't Absolutely. see any reason Absolutely, yeah, not. you would be able to, yeah, which would be quite nice. And you could do... Um, uh, I suppose it depends on your picture. You could get your um, picture printed onto fabric. Nice idea. And then get it cut out and you can have it put on t-shirts, can't mm, you? And absolutely. Stuff, so. Debbie's asking what is our word for diapers in the UK? Uh, nappy. Nappies. Nappies. Which is a really strange word. It's a really strange Why word. Why is it called nappy? I think it probably because of napkin. And it's probably connected to napkins because they were basically the way you fold they were them. cloth back in the day, yep. weren't they? Which I guess they were similar to a napkin or a, a, like a tied hanky, I guess. Yeah. yeah there you are, absolutely. nappies. So what I've done here, Joe, I've just took some of our papers and we're going to um, use our glue pen to stick it down. Now, when you're doing a Z fold card, the Z fold is exactly the same. So if I put this this way, the two pieces of card are identical. They're scored the same. It's just that you need a smaller strip and then you turn them the opposite way. And then when you come to glue them, all you want to glue is the panel that sticks to this side and the panel that sticks to that side. And the easiest way to do that 
that is to turn it over and glue the whole back because that way you only get the adhesive where you want it. So putting it down that side and then putting it across this side. And then when it comes to sticking it down, you can then pop that right into place and actually you will see well you won't see but you will feel you, i can't move that any further because this piece in the middle is stopping that piece so when you do that it then creates excellent that beautiful so it's such an easy way to do that and so lovely uh, next i've cut out again uh, i've gone round my die so this one is just a tiny bit bigger so you can see here, I've just drawn around it and cut out just a little rim so it's a little bit bigger. I'm then going to turn this jigsaw upside down until I take it out. It's all uh, in there beautifully. Now you can have some bits coming out of there or just stick the whole thing down. It just gives something really different, doesn't it? So just placing that onto the background. But what you could do is, um, I'm going to bring another card in in a minute that Sarah's also done. And she'd made a magnet out of it. And it was very clever. So I want to show you how, and I was going to demo it, but she has already demoed it uh, in the past classes. Um, but what it shows is how you can do a magnet card, um, right. but you can, you can use then the magnet. Awesome. So I'm going to just pop that onto there. And then we've got all our pieces. I've got our extra. I love have the, how we've got the sentiment stamps with these as well. So I've got, you give me butterflies. Aww. Aww, isn't how that lovely? lovely. Is that? Uh, yeah, in that sentiment, you've got, uh, you complete me, why fit in when you're born to stand out, birthday wishes to you, you give me butterflies, uh, thank my lucky stars for you, you are my missing piece, you complete me, and you also get friendship keeps us together, which I think are just all beautiful sentiments to go with this collection. Well, it's just given me an idea, um, what is that? Joe, because it's Al's birthday, my partner's birthday in a couple, in, well, in fact, next weekend. So I think I'm going to make a, a card out of this. Nice. Yes. That's soppy, isn't it? Have you got a, that is really soppy, yeah. I'm here for it, though. I'm here for it. Uh, have you got a picture in mind? Yeah, we've had quite some nice sort of selfie pictures, really. Yeah, so we have got, we've got our picture of our first date. Have you? Yes, yeah. So you took a picture on your first day. I think that's a bold move, Debbie. Yeah, I suppose it is. Because, I mean, if someone asked me... But we'd been talking a long time okay, before. Okay, excellent. So we knew we had a connection. So there's that card there. I mean, there. it's totally the sort of thing I would do, but I think some <laughs> people would say that's, you know, a little bit much. <laughs> right. Second date. Pictures on the second date, I reckon. I don't Picture know why. Just so you just play it cool a little bit, you know? Well, we've got one on the first date. There you are. And, and this, I've got that. Yeah, so we could do that. Right, so that was that card. But look at this one. I thought this was brilliant. So I'm going to bring this away. What Sarah's done here is she's created a jigsaw uh, out of magnets. So this is magnetized. Right. But I'm going to bring in this card here because I just didn't have a bit of magnet to cut the picture out of. This piece is the back of a magnet. So it's right. already been shot. And then this piece here is the magnet stuck on. If you then glue your paper over oh, that magnet sheet. what a sheet, great idea. Yeah. And then you put this piece down. So I can do it on that one as well. That just gives you like a, a piece on the back. You could stick that to there. But also, you can then put your magnet on there and it will stay put. That's amazing. Well, that's going to come off there because it's not stuck down. But if I put it onto that one, yeah, you've actually got a card that you can then take that and magnet And that's off. then functional. And it's functional. How clever is that? How amazing. So I just see that on there. But I thought, what a great gift to give to someone uh, and just use the alternative to the magnet on the back uh, and you get that beautiful card as well with a magnet inside. How amazing. Absolutely love that. I think it's an awesome idea. Just one of so many different things that you're going to be able to do uh, with this particular collection. Let me go back through the collection for you. I'll give you individual details as well. If you do want to go for them individually, you can. Remember though, the best way uh, to, um, best way to get the best deal is to go for the larger collection. So let's start off with the heart shaped one that we have here for you firstly. So you can go for uh, the hearts if you want to go for those. We'll change those details for you. Uh, so there is your heart. Uh, you've also then got the star, which is this one here. Then you've got the balloons. Your statement, which is that awesome speech bubble. 
Schmetterlings! Uh, the butterfly is in there for you. And this one is called Missing Piece as well. There we are. Any two of those, £23 or $29, uh, if you want to go for them like that. Uh, right, let me move on for you as well. We do also have available the 5 by 7 as well. Now, this is if you want to do those more conventional shapes. You can either do it in the landscape or you can do it in the portrait. It's completely up to you. It will go through your Gemini Junior as well, which is fantastic. So, uh, lots of different options where you're going for the bundle, the individuals, the 5 by 7 uh, However, you want to get a hold of it I definitely urge you though to give this awesome new concept to go because so many of you are getting such incredible uh, results with this the mount board by the way it has sold out and gone so uh, congratulations if you've got your hands on that if it's in your basket you will now need to remove it it's very busy over on the website at the moment something else that's also very busy and has been all week it is a penultimate day though for our get it got it good Uh, loads in here for you, two of our call out all purpose, uh, both of course of our amazing uh, tape pens. You're gonna get red liner in here as well. It's a real comprehensive hero adhesive. You've got that 3D uh, glue gel in there and you'll get the foam sheets too. So if you are new to crafting or maybe uh, you just need a restock, you've got a great saving on there as well. It is this week's Get It Got It Good. It means we'll launch a brand new one on Monday during Wake Up Call with Craig. I'm gonna be reunited with Craig, Debbie, on Monday. We have not worked together for two and a half weeks now. Oh really? Oh, I feel like had I've had my... Holiday, you've been off. I know, he was off, then I was off, and then I feel like I, I've missed him. Aww, I've really missed him. I haven't seen him nice for ages. To be together tomorrow. Absolutely, it will. Uh, Monday, you can join us. Uh, we will be back together. No, not tomorrow, Debbie. It's me and you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, we're here all day tomorrow. Yeah, right. it's a Joe Debbie takeover weekend with a little bit of burning pepper in there as well, uh, which will be <laughs> awesome for softer side. But, Debbie, let's recap then. So we are guessing uh, the UK time, uh, the US term, sorry, uh, for some everyday items or phrases. Uh, it went pretty well, didn't it, in the first round, Debbie? Mm -hmm. How are you yep. feeling after round one? Yeah, actually, I mean, still not very confident, but I'm chuffed that I got what I did get right in the first round. So we will see. But Joe knows all his words, so four, well, I think it's a Facebook day. Four, three uh, after the first round. I'm, of course, playing for Team Facebook. Debbie's playing for Team YouTube. We'll pick five winners at random from whoever's team wins after the game. Now, shall we move on then? Shall we get started with round two, Debbie? Are you ready? Sounds You're good. Limbered up. Okay, let's have our first item then in that case. I'm limbered. I'm limbered. Hmm. <laughs> football boots. Um. I think I've. I'm. I'm not confident, but I've got something written down. Well, I'm not at all confident. Football boots. Hmm. There's a bit. I think some people are a bit stumped with this one. Uh, in the comments. Uh, how are they doing? Don't tell me the answer, George, but how are they doing in the comments? Ah, oh, they're nailing it in the comments. Right. What, are you, what have you put, Debbie? <laughs> Let's have a look. Soccer shoes. Oh, that's exactly what I've put as well. Oh. Soccer shoes. <laughs> Skocker. You've put Skocker. Skocker. <laughs> What's a Skocker? <laughs> Skockers, it looks like. I didn't realise. Oh, yeah, look, Skocker. Let's, uh, what, so look. some of the guesses coming in are... Cleeks. Cleeks. Judy says no idea. Tasha, soccer boots, cleeks. Gleek, Georgianne, cleeks, cleeks Lynn, no wow, idea. I would never cleeks, I've never heard sounds, of cleeks. Let's yeah. reveal that answer in that case. Wow, cleeks. cleeks. I have never, I have heard never of that. ever heard that no, phrase. Me neither. Cleeks, wowzers. There you go. Cleats. So still for free then, Debbie, in that case. Uh, let's on. move on. Get your cleats on. Get cleats, your cleats on. on. Oh, look, I've got new cleats. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm going to play cleats. No, I'm going to play soccer in my cleats. <laughs> let's have that. So let's have the second one of this round then. Ah. A footpath. Oh. <laughs> is it called that though? Or is that, a, is that, a, or is that like a part? This is a footpath. Path. It is next to the road. Uh, we, I mean, yeah. I think this is. I think this is pretty, pretty straightforward. I think you're going to get this one, Debbie. I think so. I've put sidewalk. Yes, sidewalk. And Debbie has also put. And I also knew that that before was what a sidewalk was. I just didn't know what else to put, so okay. I just put that there. Loads of sidewalk, sidewalk, Janet. Oh, uh, loads of you. 
uh, loads of you going for sidewalk. Let's reveal that answer and see what we've got. It is sidewalk. So 5-4 then uh, is a score. Right, uh, let's have our next one then, Debbie. Mm. Pumpkin oh. lanterns. Wow. Ooh. Pumpkin lanterns. Here, here, no. What would no, we call them? Would know. Yeah, pumpkin lantern. Uh, I don't think I do know. Um, I think. I mean, this is a bit. I think it's uh, called this. Oh, I really don't know. Um, I'm trying to think of something that would make sense. Yeah. I, I've got some rationale behind this. I think it's wrong, but I'll tell you why uh, I think it's this. Debbie's stumped. Can right, I have to push on. you for an answer, Debbie? What are you guys saying <laughs> at home? So, uh, Aisha is so crazy that our English isn't the same. I know. It's, it's bonkers, isn't it? Right. You've got, you've got your yeah, answer I've locked got in. An answer, yeah. So what sort of answers are we? No, <laughs> let's let's reveal the answers. Our answers first. So I've gone with turnip lantern. Oh, <laughs> I've put spiced lights. What spice? Well, I was thinking <laughs> light. Is she the sick spice girl that didn't make it? <laughs> Leela saying what? Sorry. Jacka. Jacko Lantern. Jacko. Everyone's I, saying Jacko Lantern. And I Lantern. have heard of that before. I, I have, have heard of that spice well. lights because I was thinking lights as in instead of lantern and like pumpkin spices. <laughs> pumpkin spice. <laughs> Let's have a look at the answer, shall we? Yes. There it is, Jack Jacko Lantern. Lantern. Five four. And so, if do you know knows, why? Let us know where that. Oh, do you know? Do you know that why comes? I said turnip? Because no. back in the day, we never used to carve pumpkins in this country. We used to carve turnips, oh. little I, I very just... very hard small turnips, oh. and people would use like little knives um, and would carve them out. And then, uh, it, then when settlers settled in the US, they then started using pumpkins. They were more abundant there. So I wondered if the old name right. had travelled with it. But See where I mean? does Jack O come from? I don't know. So let us know. Jackie O? I don't know. Anyway, should we have our next question? There's still 5 4 at the moment. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I think it's. Mm, I don't know if I is. Oh. 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 I have no idea. No. Should we, uh, yeah, I've gone with pillow, Debbie. Uh, me too. Yeah, pillow is what we've gone I'm for. I'm thinking it's like a squashy or... Squashy like or something a, like that. Let's yeah. reveal that. Uh, let's have a look then what it is. What is people saying? Lots of pillow coming in. Let's have a look. Throw, Throw pillow. pillow. So do we get half a point for yeah, that? Yeah, we should do, shouldn't we? Half a point, so five and a half, four and a half then, Debbie. Still all to play for. How many questions do we have left? One, one more. question it's left. This, this is one. it. You You've need to get this get one right. Wrong. I need to get this I've one wrong. Right. Or the victory goes to Team Facebook. Let's have a look mm. at what the final item is. Oh. Oh, we've got two more after this still to come. Um, oh, we should have done six in the last round, that's why. Uh, do you know what? Uh, I think so I know five this and a half, four and a half, all to play for. I've got it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got it. Debbie? Okay, I'm just going to... I don't think this is right. Are you ready? Go on, you go first then, I Debbie. I put boot. Boot. But yeah. a boot's at the back, isn't it? Yeah, but when your boot's... <laughs> When you what? When you when you when you sorry? Go on. Let's, I'm really intrigued. So she's going to see what she's going to say. What? <laughs> what? What's happened? I was thinking. 
when you beat someone is in the front. <laughs> when you kick someone, you mean? <laughs> what well, depends where you're kicking them? If you're kicking them in the because it's yeah, in the front the of front. a car, and so I know the the boot. They call the trunk. They call the trunk. See, and I the wish boot. we'd had that. <laughs> so I've gone for hood, which is what yes, I think you're it right, is. Yes, you're right. It is the hood. I knew I knew it, but I couldn't think what it was. Okay, <laughs> uh, Antoinette's uh, got it right, I believe. <laughs> Christina's got it right. Oh dear. Uh, let's have a look <laughs> at what that answer is. <laughs> Boot them in the hood. There you are, the, the hood. Gosh, I oh, shouldn't I? I tell Alan not to step out of line. Honestly, we poor chap getting a boot in the, the you know what sits. Uh, four, and a, four and a half, six and a half to me uh, at the moment. Uh, so, I mean, you've got to get the next one right, Debbie. Stay in the game. Let's have a look what that next picture oh, is. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm giving you the bleeding <laughs> answer, haven't I? <laughs> do you know this oh, one, Joe? I don't need to write it down, do I? You're not going to write it down? It's the trunk. It is the trunk. <laughs> what are you going to do with all that junk? I, I all think that Joe junk? should be disqualified because he only got that because I told him the answer. <laughs> no, I told you the answer. <laughs> I told you the oh, answer. Oh, did you? Sorry, that. I thought I told you the answer. Let's have a look then. Let's reveal it because I think we all know the answer. It is trunk. It is uh, trunk. So uh, you have lost, I'm afraid. You are uh, playing yeah. now just for pride, Debbie. Yes, just Let's for have pride. a look at that final picture. <laughs> Can't see it through mid screen. Oh. Windscreen. I think I know what this is, I, but now I've written it down, I'm not sure. Um, a windscreen. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, God. Well, let's have a look at yours first, Debbie, because that, that cackle says that it could be hilarious. <laughs> Go on. I put the bonnet Oh, <laughs> kicked him right in the bonnet screen. <laughs> I've gone with visor. That's just thing that goes down. Yeah, though, but that's it? all I could think of. I was thinking windshield, but I also thought that was too <laughs> too close to windscreen. Everyone's saying windshield, which oh, is what my dad would shield. my dad would call it a windshield. To be fair, oh, okay. uh, I think bonnet screen is the way forward. <laughs> But I'm thinking like summer Easter bonnet as well. So maybe have a very decorative one. Wouldn't be good if it got wet. Let's reveal the answer. Oh, Wind not shield. Bonnet screen. Not bonnet screen. Or <laughs> that was the last one. So oh, well done, Joe. Do you want to see the tiebreaker for fun? Should we yeah, do the, tie, should do the tiebreaker as well? Go on then. Let's do the tiebreaker just for fun. You have lost though. I'm just to make that clear. Oh, I, Sorry. I, I know, Joe. So five images. What they are, uh, so that's a. Um, um, then and that is a. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> uh, that's a. Oh, what are they blooming called? Ah, oh, it's gone out of my head. I don't know what that top left thing is. I mean, I know what it is in English, but, well, in, in UK English. What have you put, Debbie? Oh, oh I'm really not, I, I'm just going to put, hang on, my. Right, right. is right. four? Oh, so what do, you think, what do you think, that's, yeah. What's that one? What do you think the top left one? Let's just go, for, we'll just talk through them. What do you think the top left one is, Debbie? Right, so the top left one I think is peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Do you? I've just put sandwich, so I wouldn't have got that. What is it, George? Ooh. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The second one, I've put meatloaf, Debbie. Yeah, I've put meatloaf. Debbie's put meatloaf. It is, in fact, meatloaf. What have you got for the one in the middle, Debbie? I was trying to think of those um, biscuits that we do, and I can't think. Oh, no, it's gone. Mm. Uh, so I put macaroons. So. Whoopie pie, I believe that is. It is a whoopie pie. Oh. Bottom left, Debbie, any ideas? Uh, I've just put fish cakes. No, biscuits and gravy, I think that is. Oh, okay. Biscuits uh. and gravy, it is. There you go. And bottom right, I, I know believe... I what that is. 
You don't know what it is. I do. What is it? It's a corn dog. It is a corn dog. Mm. Absolutely. That's what I've put as well. We did well there, Debbie. Yeah, not bad at all. So we both would have got four on the tie but break. Well so done. would there have would would there have been a second tie break? Because it, we would have been tied after the tie break. <laughs> 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 I think we'd have just had to give both teams a win if we got to that point. So we are going to uh, pick five winners at random from Team Facebook. Whilst we regroup, uh, why don't I share with you all the details of the uh, US shipping and also Club Inspire. Take a look. We've had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Uh, lots of you uh, really loving that uh, show. Uh, turnip, spice lights, what is this all about, says Gilmore. Uh, their answers are so funny, says Christina. This is a great game, says Leela. Uh, Annie enjoyed the game as well. Leela says she's cracking up at Debbie. I mean, what has changed, really? Aisha says, in the, US, uh, in the US, a boot on a car is not a thing. It means you didn't pay your parking tickets and then put it on your tyre so you can't drive your car. Oh, a boot is what we call a wheel clamp. That's a boot in the US. You know, a wheel clamp that goes over your wheel. If you get, you know, if you park some of you, you get clamped, don't you? You get, they put, your car gets a boot oh. on it. That's what that's called. I guess it makes sense because it's just like a boot for your wheel, isn't it? Mm. Uh, so the boot is the trunk. trunk that's yeah. uh, what, it's, of course, a boot is. Uh, Winnebib says, uh, jack-o'-lantern is a carved pumpkin, turnip, or other root vegetables. So we're down the right lines there. It says, the name comes from a phenomenon of strange light flickering over peat bogs. Uh, sounds like a man with a really unfeatured, fortunate name, doesn't it? Pete, what's your name? Uh, it's uh, Pete, Pete Boggs. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pete Boggs to you. Uh, Will of the Wisp or Jack O' Lantern uh, is what they're going to say. Mr. Uh, Pete Boggs. <laughs> Mr. Pete Boggs. <Pee-Pogs. laughs> I had this friend of mine uh, who his dad was a farmer, and when we used to drive anywhere in the country, he'd be like, oh, that's a lovely bit of Pete over there. <laughs> He's like, oh, smell that. The smell, smell yeah. that. Oh, that's a lovely bit of peat, that is. <laughs> Still makes me laugh. And uh, Nina says, awesome job. Uh, not sure I would have done as good. Leela loved it too. Uh, congratulations, Facebook, for the win. So, yes, we'll reveal the name of those five winners at random. Now, talking of winners, let's dive into uh, the winner's circle because this is where we save some of the best deals of the week for you. Everyone's a winner uh, in the winner's circle. You're going to get three cut and embossed folders in here for that incredible price. Essentially, you're buying one and getting two for free here. So you've got congrats, thanks, 
and love in there as well so you can grab those three for a sensational price now something that are always so popular and these have got to be up there as some of the most popular of all time they are are incredible edgeable dies uh, in this one uh, two of the most popular it's a half price deal for you you've got the butterfly and you've also got the Venetian scrolls in there as well. Very, very regal. Loving that one. Next one we've got for you are two of our topper pads from our Nitwits collection. So you've got the one from Positivity, which is this one here. And what you've got basically is sheets and sheets of toppers. So you've got things like full alphabets in here. You can use those as stencils afterwards. You've got the little sort of Polaroid photo uh, holders. You've got doggies. I mean, they are absolutely loaded full. 28 single-sided sheets in that one. And then... You've even then got the uh, Bloom with Grace collection, again, with all of those different toppers in there. These are just so handy to have in your stash when you just need a little something. Even things like borders in there too. Don't worry, no one's going to have nicked any of the bits out of yours. Uh, you'll get all of them, which is excellent. You're only paying for one pad, you're getting the other pad for free. And you're also going to get the extra strong tape pen included in there as well, which is awesome. Do grab that. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden, uh, but that's what you're getting uh, because uh, we have got a brilliant deal for you on some of our Sarah Signature Rose Garden items. Now, I love these uh, because the, the um, Fancy Flora Bunda, which is that one there, I always think of Cowabunga when I say that. Uh, this one is worth £12.99 on its own. So really what you're paying £3 to get the two extra items, which is awesome. You're saving way more than you're spending. This is just gorgeous. Uh, if you wanted to, I imagine, imagine that on some like red mirror card, Debbie, or matte mirror card, and then flood this with those glossy highlights that we've got. Oh! gorgeous uh, but so many things you can do with that and we are going to give you the sentiments in there as well which is excellent so that's a brilliant deal for you wall-to-wall -wall brilliant deals in the um in the winner's circle today and then an absolute essential for you we've got some of our nesting dies uh, so you're going to get the stitched primitive flower which is this one just here uh, and these are great for mats and layers they are also wonderful for card blanks and tags you're going to get the uh, stitched pentagon and you're going to get one of our uh, new inverted ones as well, which is your stitched zigzag oval inverted one too. Great for cutting in, also great for creating your frames as well. Uh, there we go. Uh, £22, $29 to get your hands on those. You're saving a quarter. Real essential, aren't they, Debbie, your nesting dies? Do you know what, Joe? I think every single crafter needs nesting dies in their stash because they are my go-to. Whatever I uh, do with anything, my first port of call is using a nesting die because they're so versatile. So whether you want something really simple, you want to cut that beautiful aperture use them for your matte and layering creating frames you might just want to have a simple shaker card where you do those extra elongated parts around the side but then you might want to then do something like this where you're twisting them where they're you're doing different efforts you've got other boxes in here with the same i mean how gorgeous are they but then you've got the this one which is your inner page uh, that stack inwards and they just look gorgeous again twisting them around a different way looks amazing uh, and then you've got these ones which i absolutely love i think they look very different creating them around the edges in the middle creating your mats and layers which are incredible so let's get started on how they work these are limited stock these debbie that means uh, less than 10 percent of our starting stock wow. we now have available to you a lot of you have jumped already and put them in your basket what i would suggest is if you definitely want these uh, I would check them out sooner rather than later. If you're watching the show back, uh, check the website for the stock situation. Sorry, Debbie, I just don't want anyone to miss out on Yeah, them. no, absolutely not. Um, when there's not a lot left, you need to grab these because they are sort of an amazing price. Anyway, what I've done here is I've just took out the inside so I could use that to cut one out. But I've just got a card blank, so a six by six card blank. I then cut some card just to go at the side so I can have that orange around the edge. Now what I'm going to do is actually attach this to the front of our card before we die cut and we're going to create an aperture card so I'm just going to put some extra tape in the center that will just hold it all together and because I've got the Gemini I know that I've got every confidence in the dies cutting no problem whatsoever so 
So I'm going to do this and then we're going to pop our die into the centre of there. Now by taking out that middle section of the orange card, there's less cardstock to cut through. So all I'm cutting through is our stamping card, which is 300 GSM, and then a piece of paper on the top, which makes it a lot easier. And then we're just going to run that through. Now I'm using my big Gemini, but I'm using it with my Gemini Junior plates. Uh, so all these dies will go through your Gemini Junior or your Gemini Midi. So I'm just going to have this into place there and then hold that through. De uh, Joe is saying, Debbie, your dress is gorgeous. Oh, well, thank you. It's actually a top, but thank you very much. Mm, it's really beautiful. You're a real pop of colour. It has got a lot. I do love oranges at the moment. Oranges, mm. lemons, sort of pinks, purples. It's a bit different for me because I'm quite a pink girl, but I, um, it's nice to have a bright colour in the summertime, isn't it? But yeah. Thank you very much. That's much appreciated. Uh, yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. First thing I said to you today, that wasn't was, it, when you got out of the car? I really liked it. Uh, Lisa loves the pretty yellow paper you're using as well. Uh, Deborah says, looking forward to getting those two knitwit pads. Got the rest of the paper pads. It'll be great to have the top pads to go with it. There you are. Absolutely. And Michelle, uh, Michelle also saying how great the price is on those toppers. Should we reveal the winners, Debbie, of who uh, has won those? Um, oh yes, that'd be great. Those uh, free spends. Uh, it is Julie Vergara, Nina Blanco Boyer, Eileen Pearson, Laura Siegel, and Beth Lucas. So Julie Vergara, uh, Nina Blanco Boyer, Eileen Pearson, Laura Siegel. Uh, and Beth Ross Lucas, email us please, prizes at craftscompanion.com and claim that £10 or dollar spend. Congratulations to everyone uh, as well there. All of them from Team Facebook, Debbie. That was my maiden name, Pearson, Elaine. Was it? Yeah, it's weird when I hear another Pearson because uh, I don't hear it very often. I know quite a few Pearsons. Oh, do you? Yeah, mm. that was my maiden name. Oh, there you are. This is my last play of crafts right for a little while, which is saddens me, Debbie. Oh. Yeah, I won't be, uh, this will be my last one for about four or five weeks oh, now. Oh, yeah, Because obviously course, the, way, my the, shifts, way, you work. the mm -hmm. way my shifts fall means that, uh, yeah, I won't, be, uh, I won't be here next Saturday. Ah, uh. oh. well, I won't be here next Saturday either. Well, no. neither of us will be here. I, I actually, will be I here, will though. be in Durham. You'll be in Durham? I will be in Durham, yes. We've oh. booked a weekend break away in Durham. Nice. I never get to see Durham, yet we work here all the time. But because mm. I never get to see it, we've booked a weekend here, yes. Oh, nice. You should go to Beamish if you get time. Beamish, where's that? What's it's a, that? It's a museum, uh, oh, okay. but it's a big outdoor. George is, George is more local than I am, so I'll get George to tell me what Beamish is. Ah, okay. It's like an old village, basically, isn't it? That's been turned into a, a museum of like Britain over the years, basically. It tells the uh, anthropological story of Great Britain, basically. Uh, oh. But it's all, it's all sort of very oldie worldy. There's an old fish and chip shop, and it's all sort of. There's like 1920s bit, I think, 1940s part, but it's actually like a small town that's a, that's a museum. And where is this? It's in Beamish. <laughs> I've got a feeling it might be on our list to go is and it? see. Yes. You should go. I haven't been yeah. myself personally, but I've heard great things. And a I cheese place where they make cheese yeah. as well. We're going there. Um, I think it's like consistently voted as one of the top tourist attractions in the whole of the UK. Wow. There you are. Wow. Quite a feat. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm so looking forward to, I mean, I love working, Joe. you know that, but it's nice to come up here and be able to have actually a really good look around. And oh, it's see, lovely, uh, isn't it? A little yeah. staycation. Absolutely. We're all having a little staycation at the moment. Yeah. So who is going to be here? Sorry to interrupt. On, uh, Becky um, will be here, I believe, on Becky. Saturday next week. So make sure you come uh, and cheer her oh, on yes. for Team Facebook. Uh, but also, when is the 10th? Uh, that is uh, this Friday, I believe. Right, so... Oh, no, it's Saturday. Next Saturday. Sunday is the 11th, the 10th. Yeah, 10th is next Saturday. So, I don't know if it's been told yet. What? But Becky is actually going to be coming on to, um, to do the craft side. <gasps> She's going to be on that side of the she's studio. She's going to be on this side of the studio on the 10th. So, so who's going to be on be, this side of the studio? Well, she's going to be double... Yeah, George. Ah! Yeah, so she's going to be double handle, handling the launch with Sarah. And it'll be our first crafty uh, session. On Saturday On next Saturday, week. There yes. you are. And George will be here as well. Yes. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a party it's here on Crafty TV, doesn't it? Absolutely. You're going to have to make sure you come and join all the guys. Perhaps I'll have to pop in. <laughs> 
I mean, as well have a party. I'll, I'll come up the for party. the day. I'll yeah. stay on for a day. I'll come That's in too. It. Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously, the football's on tonight, Debbie. We've got to mention it, haven't oh, we? Oh, God. I've just... Uh, I, honestly, my nerves... Debbie is so into the football I'm, at the moment. I just uh, For those it. of you in the US, the soccer, as you'd call it, uh, the UK are through to the quarterfinals of the, Euro, the Euros, as we call them, which is basically mm -hmm. the national competition for all the European countries. And Debbie, we look like we're on form, don't we? We look like we're going to sail through to the final at this point. I rate. think we can do it. I actually. I think, think it we might be coming it. home, Debbie. I think it's coming home. Do you? Absolutely. I think it's. So this is what we always home. say. We always use this term in the UK. It's coming, it's coming home. home when we do well in the football, the soccer, because there was a uh, song in uh, during the European Championships in '96 called "Football's Coming Home," uh, and now every time we're doing well, we say it's coming home. Was it, was it called Three Lions? Three Lions oh, on his chest. On his shirt. <laughs> on his chest? <laughs> on his chest, but it's on his shirt. Uh, so, yeah, there's well, a I lot. I watch the We're... football for all them chests and bums. <laughs> 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 That's not true. I watch it because I love football. <laughs> No, I've been doing it without even saying anything. Who's your favourite footballer, Debbie? Um, oh, well, I have a past. I loved Gary Lineker. Right. He was one of my all-time okay. greats. And probably Harry Kane now. Harry oh, Kane. Yeah, so he's England captain. So, yeah, I think he's... Uh, well, yeah, no, he is, yeah. Yeah, I've got a few, but yes. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> she has got a few. She was telling us all about it earlier, as was Georgina, who's got quite the affinity for the Italian team, it sounds. Uh, if you want to go for those nesting dyes, absolutely, uh, you can go for them. Uh, let me just take you back through. Uh, she's a big fan of the Italian team, aren't you, Georgina? You were saying this earlier. <laughs> I, just, I love that Georgina's just gone, yes, yes, move on, move on. Uh, so in there you're going to get the pentagons, you're also going to get the primitive flower in here and you're also going to get that zigzag oval in there too. £22 or $29 if you want to get those, $17.60 or $23.20 for Club Inspire Platinum members. Let me share with you again those cut and embossed folders because they are very, very busy at the moment. Uh, so in here you're going to get the classic congrats, uh, you've also got in there the thanks and You've also got love in there too. Do you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to give you a heads up on that later craft along and share with you all the things that you need if you want to come and join us and take part. It's going to be fantastic. Have we got a guest joining us in the later show, Georgina? Oh, we have. Christina is going to be joining us. That's exciting. Make sure you come and meet uh, the lovely Christina. Let me share with you everything you're going to need for that later craft along then. Uh, so you've got the cute character box there. Uh, you've got some 8x8 pads, white stamping card, watercolour card, acetate. Uh, you will need your tricolour markers as well. Uh, you will also need a sparkle pen, some foam pads, foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll, uh, a waterproof ink pad, uh, a tape pen, some red liner, some tacky glue, some sequins or some glitter. Now that sounds like my kind of product. It really does. Uh, right, loads of you chatting away. Uh, Sue says, Beamish is wonderful. You really should go, Debbie. Uh, and apparently, yes, uh, Becky was talking last night about the fact that she's going to be demoing next week. Very, very exciting. Um, Elizabeth says, what time is the match and who are you playing? Well, do you know, Joe? I know what time the match is. 8 p.m. UK time. <laughs> Myself and Debbie will be on air from 7 p.m. till 9 p.m. I was so Whilst busy. the football is on. I mean, obviously, we're not saying we'd rather be watching the football, Debbie, are we? That's I not am. what we're saying. Oh, Debbie says she went there. I'm going there. She went there. I would rather be watching the football, guys. So uh, we are playing. We're playing the U we're playing the Ukraine. We're playing the Ukraine. We've already decided. So there's sort of a TV out the back. So we reckon if we get the TV set up, we can finish at nine, Debbie, don't we? Yep. And then go out and watch the second half. And all we've the pizza. even <laughs> talked about having some pizzas delivered for the second half as well. Uh, so myself, Tracy, George, and Ina uh, will stay behind hopefully after work. And, uh, and watch that. Uh, Gilmore says, Joe, where is the yellow paper, uh, pattern paper that Debbie used for the Pentacard? Penta, let me try again. Joe, where is the yellow pattern paper that Debbie just used for the Pentagon card from? It's in the, uh, I, this isn't, that's the pastel one. I have got, there it is. Let me just grab that. It's from the uh, Textures 8x8 card, but we also do this one in a 12x12 as well, but it's the Textures and it's the Brights. 
Excellent. Mm. Okie doke. Do you want to do the card of the show now, Debbie, or do you want we to wait a bit? Do. Oh, we can do. We can do it, it now. now. Yeah, let's right, do let's it do now. it. Let's do it now. Why so, not? We've actually got uh, three. So we've got our two jigsaw ones. You just angle so, that one a bit Oh, yeah, there we go. Excellent, there thank go. you. So we've got that gorgeous dad one. Numero We've got Sarah and her family Numero for dos. our second one. And then we've got that gorgeous um, Pentagon one uh, with, the, um, with the flowers. Beautiful. One, two or three. Get your votes in Crafters TV if you're on Facebook, Crafters Companion. If you are across on YouTube, but we're going to look next then at the cut and emboss folders, Debbie. These are brilliant. I'm guessing if you wanted to batch make, these would be a dream, wouldn't they? Oh, so much so. Uh, what I love about cut and emboss folders, they really are uh, that dream product to use. Because if you want simplistic, a quick card, you've got it in literally seconds. Uh, you just cut it into the front of a card blank and it's done. Uh, what I'm going to use, I've just splattered um, some ink on top of a card. So quite minimal I've left it quite minimal there and then I'm going to pop this into my folder now with a cut and emboss folder you always put your dies cut it into the front of your card so we're just going to hover that inside and close that up and that's as simple as it is now it gets even more simpler Joe, because all you need is your two cutting mats now actually that is enough to cut them out but I like to give that extra shim because we've got dies in there by adding my metal shim so my cutting mat my metal shim your cutting boss folder uh, and then your top cutting plate over the top so nice and simple so it always blows my mind cutting emboss folders because for, to have something that does that dual function and you still get that embossing as well as that cutting out, I think is totally incredible. So let's bring that in. Uh, and that looks cool, doesn't it? So now let me just explain this. Someone has inked this quite possibly me but we do an, an ink press technique where you add your inks to the top of the folder and then it transfers uh, where it's not been washed off it's gone yellow in the actual uh, ink parts here but what we are going to do we are going to mat and layer so I've got some different pieces of card and we're going to take those letters out now if you want them letters what I would suggest before you take them out um, is to actually put some adhesive on the back uh, and put them down onto your cardstock and that way you'd get them cut out straight so taking these ones out popping them out there are you excited for the craft along Debbie uh, yeah, I can't wait. I, um, I love these cute little boxes. They look amazing. Um, or they are amazing, should I say. So I hope you can all join me. And so and affordable as well, along. aren't they? Yeah, really affordable uh, and just so cute. I think there's somebody that you can say, uh, everybody knows someone to send that cute card to uh, and these little bo boxes are great. Uh, and we're putting an added extra element in there of doing a little bit of a shaker box as well. So um, yeah, so hopefully you can uh, join us at 3 p.m. Yes, 3 p.m. here in the UK, which is um, 3 p.m. in the UK. Which is 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. West Coast time. Fabulous. So just putting that down. I'm just using tacky glue so you can see it really highlights then that thanks coming through. Uh, and then I'm going to mat and layer this onto my base card. So just using, I've just got a black base card. Again, I'm just using papers. Uh, and I would say out of what pad, but I really don't know. I'm getting to the stage, which I'm sure like many of you, I have a box of scrap papers uh, where I don't use, where you've cut them off and you've not used them, but I can't bit bear. Box. Yes, my bit box. So I'm starting to use that jar. I'm being really good. I'm starting to think about uh, using all those pieces up. But it means I don't always know where they're from. But I know our eagle-eyed crafters out there Someone will know. love them. They will know what they are. But you'll all have your own, um, own ones in your stash of what you like to use. So popping that there. And then I have just got a sentiment somewhere. Let me just find that to put on the front. In fact, I'm not sure what I've done with my sentiment, Joe. So I'm going to bring in my finished one. So let's bring this one in, turn that round, and there we go. So nice and quick card. But what I love about this, it says everything you want it to say, uh, and it's the main focal point of your card. 
Mm, absolutely. Very quick to do, very easy to put together, uh, which is fantastic. So remember what you are getting in there, which is awesome. Now you're paying for one, or you're getting two free. So you've got congrats in here. You've also got thanks and you're going to get love in there as well. So make sure you grab a hold of those. Something else you're absolutely loving in the show is that Nitwits topper pad collection. So let me share that with you. You're basically getting the topper element. But the first time we've done uh, these, obviously in conjunction with Nitwits, uh, where it's a, a topper, a pad just of toppers. So a lot of the time now in our um, pattern paper packs or our card packs, we'll give you a few sheets of these at the back. Well, this is a pad that we did all of them. You've got full alphabets in here. Don't throw this carrier sheet away as once you use the alphabets, because that then becomes an alphabet stencil that you're going to be able to use beautifully too. Uh, lots of different things for scrapbooking, card making. I love the borders there. They're going to come in so handy. Trim them down. Do as you wish with them. You're going to get it in the positivity. You're also going to get it in the Bloom with Grace collection too. So you can see here uh, all of those coming your way. 29 sheets in this one uh, and uh, 28 sheets in this one. And you will get the tape pen in there too, which is excellent. So do grab that whilst it's on such a fantastic deal. Let me share with you also... The edibles, these are always popular. The great thing about edibles is if you can do it with one edible, you can do it with all your edibles. That's why there's so many different card concepts that you can create with these. This one here is your Venetian scrolls. You're also going to get the ability to put this uh, die over the edge of your cards too, which is that gorgeous butterfly. Seven ninety nine or eleven sixteen for platinum members uh, instead of twenty pounds or twenty seven dollars. So a, a great deal there for you on that one. Uh, I think it's safe to say they are a hero product, aren't they? Uh, these ones, Debbie. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, for me, edibles are everything you would want them to be. They create that whole card. They give you that detail. They make you look like such a professional. So uh, your tools are what's really needed in this case, and it is your edibles. So what we've got here, uh, I'm just going to measure my card for you. I've got a six and three. Uh, sorry, a five and three quarters by a six-inch card length. So it's basically an A4 piece of card uh, folded in half and trimmed down to six inches. Uh, we're then going to cut our butterfly across the middle here. Now, what I have done is I've created um, some papers to go along the bottom. So I just want to make sure that my die won't go over the top of those. So I'm just going to hold that onto this piece here. And then we're going to tape that down. So I know that that's stuck into place. So pop that across there. Then I just need to open that out. And because I'm now using it long ways, I am going to pop that through my bigger Gemini plates. But these will all go through your Gemini Junior as well. So we're just going to offer that into the mouth of our Gemini. That's going to take that through, no problem whatsoever. Cut absolutely beautifully. Uh, and it cuts all that gorgeous detail into our card so quickly. And it means it then allows us to do that really creative part. So what we're going to do with this one, we're going to give a little bit of ink in. So let's bring this across. We're then going to grab, I've got my, um, uh, my Harmony Water Reactive, I've got my Fuchsia and my Lemon Tonic. And we're just going to use these to really enhance the section of that die. I mean, look how gorgeous that gorgeous. is. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm just going to bring in my little daubers. Uh, if you haven't got the daubers yet, and I think they may be out of stock, um, you can use maybe a cotton wool bud, because what you do want to do is just put it where it's needed. So I'm just putting it through that middle section of my butterflies and I can do that because I'm just using just a small finger dauber. And then I'm gonna go in with my pink and then we can do our little wings. And it just adds that really gorgeous touch. I'm not worried about the top going over the top because we're gonna cut that piece away. So we're just gonna go in, add in that gorgeous ink to the sides. And it just gives us a really beautiful look. And that's going to tone in with our gorgeous papers here as well. So taking them away, popping them to the side. And then all I'm going to do is take my scissors. We're going to snip this part here out. So just snip into there. And then this piece, we're just going to cut down that spine of the card and then cut across. And then that's going to give us that beautiful edger 
across the centre of our card. So really beautiful. And then we've got our front piece to attach there. So just bringing in again my tape pen. Pop that across there. And then on the inside, I've just got some pattern papers to pop into there. And Mary Lisa, it sounds like a fun time tonight after the show watching the football. It will be. It will be. Diane yes. says, oh, so nice to see you again, Joe. Happy Saturday. Or is it fake Monday? It is fake Monday today. Absolutely indeedy. Uh, Eileen as well saying, I have that positivity topper pad and I absolutely love it. Diana, uh, Diane, Diana indeed letting me know that she loves uh, the cut and emboss folders too. Your demo of the show was number three, Debbie, the Pentagon. Oh, the Pentagon. Mm. Uh, and then what I've done, Joe, just quickly, I've cut this out again in black just, and then I've slightly trimmed it oh, at the I side. Oh, I like this idea. Because then when you pop this in, you get this gorgeous... Um, uh, shadow effect around so just like that and then you cut off this piece so I'm just going to bring in my finished card because I know we're, we're quickly going out so you've got oh I haven't put the black on there I thought oh I have put the black on there do you know what it do you know what it is Joe I thought the black was black card and I've realized it wasn't it was my Centura Pearl which is white on the back uh, and then I've just put a quick sentiment and some gems on there um, but there we go gorgeous that's card. a beauty and that so one quickly and then our winner of the show is this one, yes? So we'll pop that over with you, Joe. Excellent. Uh, right, let me uh, remind you of all of those beautiful uh, winner circle deal. The edgeables, really gorgeous, great deal. Buy one, get one free. So you've got the butterfly on there and you've also got the Venetian scrolls there too. So definitely grab those. Uh, don't forget also about cutting emboss folders. It really is last call. Uh, on these now so you want to be quick for them you've got congrats you've also got thanks and love in there too 12.99 you buy one you get two three free which is awesome these are hanging on by the hairs on their chinny chin chin uh, this is your nesting guys so you're going to receive the stitched primitive flower the pentagon and you've also got the inverted stitched edged zigzag Oval, so make sure you get a hold of those while they're on such a great deal. Uh, we also have, I beg your pardon, yeah, Rose Garden. Uh, we've got these on the show for you. A uh, two creator card dice. So you've got the fanciful Floribunda, cuts in or cuts out. It's at your choice with that one. You've got the Rambling Rose, which is this one just here, which is a gorgeous creator card. Think about stained glass window techniques, paper piecing that, getting your glossy highlights in there too. And finally, uh, last one, my name is least, you've got then your Happiness Blooms sentiments within there too, which is awesome. Uh, then you also have those two Knitwits pads. So they are your topper pads. Uh, they are fantastic. Uh, they're a really nice weight. They're 250 GSM, but they're coated too. So they're a really substantial topper. You get it not only in the positivity, you are also getting it as well in the bloom with grace. So uh, make sure you grab a hold of those ones. Uh, and don't forget that with those two topper pads, you will also get an extra strong tape pen. Don't forget also, spend 30, save five. Wherever you are, you can use that in conjunction with the amazing Winner Circus Circle deals. Uh, also, don't forget, triple points across everything totally Tiffany. Both of those deals will be up until the end of tomorrow. So you've still got a little while to avail of those. Something else that's happening later, in just over 90 minutes time, in fact, is, of course... Our craft along and here is everything that you need to craft along with the lovely Debbie Fisher. Uh, so you've got your dies there, papers, uh, all your different card stops, acetate, uh, some tricolour markers. You will also need this lovely lot. So you've got your sparkle pens, your adhesives, foam uh, and also some sequins or glitter. So make sure you get that all rummaged and gathered ready for that craft along which will be happening at 3 p.m. in the UK, 10 a.m. on the East Coast. 7 a.m. across on the West Coast. Let me take you back to, though, our Play Your Crafts Right item that we featured. It was, of course, the incredible jigsaw dies. Now, these are awesome because they're totally functional. They make a working jigsaw or puzzle for you, but you can stick them down and create decoratives with them as well. So uh, do grab those. You've then also got your speech bubble in here. You have got the balloons. Uh, this one here is your puzzle. You've got the heart there. And you've also got the butterfly, which is brilliant. Now, uh, you get them all individually if you want. They're $12.99 or $14.95. Any two of them for £23 or $29 
or what you can also do is get the whole collection. You get the whole collection, you get the best price. Less than £50 for Club Inspire Platinum members to get dies that are going to enable you to create a whole new concept of card is absolutely whacking great value for money, I think. Don't forget also, if you want to go for the conventional shape, you can. We do have the 5 by 7 and you can either use that portrait or you can use it in the landscape. It's completely up to you however you want to use that. So those more conventional uh, style photos. It's available individually for you. It's $29.99 or $39.95, which is absolutely excellent. Well, there's still loads to come here for the rest of the day on Crafters TV. Craft Along, remember, coming up for you at 3 p.m., which is going to be awesome, with myself and Debbie, 10 a.m. for you on the East Coast. Then don't forget Craft House, a little later as well. Myself and uh, Debbie will be back. We do have a, uh, a guest for that, the lovely Jenny. Uh, that'll be awesome. It'll be 7 p.m. in the UK, 2 p.m. on the East Coast, 11 a.m. across on the West Coast. And then there's a whole load of fun uh, to look forward to all day tomorrow, which I'll tell you about a little bit later in the day and some brand new launches coming up for you on Monday. I do hope you can join us for the latest shows. Don't forget to check out your baskets if you are shopping across on the website. Thank you, Debbie. It was an absolute pleasure. Yes, thank you, Joe. I'm looking forward to the craft along, so I hope you can join us because it's going to be super cute. Yes, it will be. Uh, lots of you uh, gathering your bits and bobs ready to craft along with us a little later. We're going to have a gossip, cup of tea, maybe a little bit of lunch, uh, and we will meet you back here in about 90 minutes' time. Take care and see you then. <laughs>